The stock market moves in phases and sectors. So earlier in 2020, we saw COVID stocks get hot after the whole crash in March. We then saw electric vehicles and EV charging stocks start to get hot. We saw crypto stocks get hot this past year. Also leading in and right after the election, we saw solar energy and clean energy stocks start to get very hot. We saw cannabis stocks as well start to get hot as a result from the election. And we also saw crypto stocks and SPAC stocks start to get hot this past year. So right now, the market is going through a phase where meme stocks and heavily shorted stocks are the hot sector right now. So in this video, I'm going to be going over a couple sectors that I think could get very hot sometime in 2021. And during this market pullback that we're in right now, this is a great time to start accumulating and starting to front run the next hot sector that you think it is. Because if you can get in before the big pump happens, such as if you got into GameStop, BlackBerry, Bed Bath Beyond, any of these stocks that are hot recently, if you got in before they got hot, there's been some absolute crazy gains. So getting into the hot sector before the sector ends up getting hot, that is one of the best opportunities to make a ton of money very, very quickly if you can find out that hot sector and front run those moves. Well, let's get into a couple sectors now that I think could get hot next. So the first sector that I see getting hot sometime in the next couple months, this is the 3D printing sector. So ARK Invest, this is a sector that ARK Invest likes a lot. They actually have a fund behind this sector, a ticker symbol PRNT, and taking a look at the chart from ARK, we can take a look that recently it has started to get hot a little bit, it has finally started to get some volume and movement within the sector. But taking a look at this ETF's performance over the past three years, it's still only up about 9% in the past three years. So the potential for growth in this sector has barely even been tapped into. And 3D printing as a whole is a huge part of future manufacturing, getting it more efficiently done in a cheaper way. 3D printing is the way to go for sure if you look into some of these companies and performance of what these products do. So taking a look at the ARC fund that they have put together, here's the top 30 holdings in the ETF. Now a couple stocks that I like within the sector personally. First one is 3D Systems Corp, ticker symbol DDD. This is a stock that had over 50% short float, so it got pumped up with all of these other short squeeze plays. Now for this one, I would definitely be looking for a good size pull down. Within the $20 to $25 range would be the buy target. And then you can kind of start front running that sector on the pullback. I would not be chasing at current prices for this one. Next up, Desktop Metal, ticker symbol DM. This is probably my favorite company out of all of these personally. And anywhere in the low 20s, preferably in the $20 to $23 range is my buy target for this one for front running that hot sector. Next up, Nano Dimension, ticker symbol NNDM. As we know, this is a company that ARC likes a ton and has had huge gains over the past couple of months, up almost 500% in just the past year. This stock, this is a stock that definitely has a ton more growth ahead of it and should be pretty easily $20 plus when the sector does start heating up. Next up, Sphere 3D Corp, ticker symbol ANY. This is a stock that has barely gotten any traction, has barely moved so far, and it has a very tiny market cap at $16 million. When the sector does start getting hot, which in my opinion will happen sometime this year, this is one of the highest upside positions to get into because the market cap is so small and the stock will move so fast compared to all of these other companies. Next up, the X1 company, ticker symbol XONE. This is a stock that has been very hot lately as well. It is ARK's number one holding and the 3D printing ETF. Now this is one that I would not be chasing at current prices, but if it does get to the $20 to $22 range, I do think that would be a solid price to start buying in and front running that hot sector. So 3D printing has a very far way to go for these stocks. In my opinion, some other sectors that I'm watching that ended up getting hot last year, that in my opinion will start to get very hot again very soon this coming year. The first one that I'm watching very, very closely and keeping an eye on is the Bitcoin and crypto sector with these stocks. Some of these stocks include Marathon Patent Group, ticker symbol M-A-R-A, Bit Digital, ticker symbol B-T-B-T, -B -T, Riot Blockchain, ticker symbol R-I-O-T. And these Bitcoin and crypto stocks like to run very, very quickly when Bitcoin does start going up again. Bitcoin has consolidated, it has pulled back a healthy amount. And when Bitcoin does make the next big run, which is obviously bound to happen for everybody who believes in Bitcoin, believes that this is going to go to 100k plus within the next couple years. So when Bitcoin does end up getting hot again, as long as everything goes smoothly for the crypto space as a whole, it is very smart to start accumulating these crypto stocks on the dips as it will start taking off in a big way when crypto does end up getting hot again. Another sector that a lot of smart people are behind right now, and ARK Invest's Kathy Wood, she has said that she thinks that the next biggest companies in the world are in the genomic sector. So the genomic sector is in the biotech space, having to do with such things such as curing diseases, editing DNA and genes, and a bunch of other things just within the biotech space. It's kind of changing the health sector as a whole. Such crazy things to think about, such as being able to pick a child's gender, being able to ch pick a child's gene output, 
such as if you wanted your kid to be athletic, you could kind of switch up that using one of these companies' products. Now that is many, many years down the line, but in the future, stuff like this could be a reality within this genomic space. So Kathy Wood and ARK put together a genomics fund, ticker symbol ARKG, and here are the top 30 holdings in this one, just having to do overall with these health companies, which could be a huge part of the future. A lot of these stocks have started to get hot as well, but they do have a ton more room to run in the long term if all these bold predictions by companies like ARK do come into fruition. So the next sector that I think is very, very smart to start accumulating in while this pullback in the market is happening is the SPAC stocks once again. So SPACs have been very, very up and down. They usually get very, very hot, shoot up, and then they'll kind of trend down for a couple months at a time before they start shooting up again. So there's some great values in the SPAC space right now that I'm looking at. A couple stocks I'm liking a ton on the valuation and upside right now. The first one is FTOC. This is a company that I think is very, very undervalued. It's merging with Payoneer, which is a payment and fintech company that I see has a ton more upside at this price with very, very limited downside. Next up, Pershing Square Holdings, ticker symbol PSTH. This is a company that has yet to find a target for their SPAC, but it is led by one of the biggest leaders in the finance space, Bill Ackman, which a lot of stuff depends on this merger being successful. So a lot of speculation has came out about he's targeting Subway. This can be a huge disappointment. And there's also been speculation on the other hand that he's targeting a company like SpaceX or Stripe. If I had to guess personally, this will be Stripe. And Stripe is trading for $75 per share on the secondary market. So this has 3x potential if they do end up getting a company like Stripe. And if they were to get a company like SpaceX, this would obviously go $100 plus. Who knows the upside for that scenario, even though it is unlikely. And if they were to disappoint, with a food company like Subway or something like that, this stock would obviously have a pretty good chance of dropping down. So it is risky because we do not yet know what the target is gonna be, but I think the risk reward is great here for this company. Ticker symbol PSTH. Next up, one that I'm loving the value and growth potential of is STIC. This is the merger with BarkBox. I've talked about this in a couple of past videos, but I see this stock easily 20 to $30 by the end of 2021, if not higher. BarkBox has some of the most impressive growth if you look into some of these numbers behind the company, and when they do end up merging, which is expected to be in quarter two of 2021, when they do finally merge, I expect this company to start getting traction once again and go up to that $18 to $20 plus range. Next up, VG Acquisition Corp, ticker symbol VGAC. Now, a lot of investors were disappointed. Branson did not bring one of these companies, such as Virgin Hyperloop and Virgin Orbit. They instead are now in talks with the company 23andMe. Now this disappointed a lot of investors who are currently in this stock, but I do believe that leading into the merger, 23andMe has started to get a lot of traction and is one to be a candidate included within the ARCG sector, which is very, very likely in my opinion. There's been a tweet that was dug up from Kathy Wood a while back about 23andMe, which she said that has sold enough DNA kits to accumulate genetic info on 850,000 customers. And this is back in 2015. So Kathy is obviously a fan of this company and will likely be buying this within the ARCG fund and this company makes money from their test kits, but the big money within this company is with the genetic data. Next up, a company that I like a lot is Trident Acquisition Corp, ticker symbol TDAC. This is likely to merge with Lottery.com, and I could definitely see a company like Lottery.com getting a lot of traction and high potential leading into the merger. Next up, GSAH. Now this is one that are still looking for a merger target as of now, but there has been some things cleared up lately, as FUSE is now expected to be merging with Money Lion, and this is a competitor to FUSE, who have been rumored to be targeting BlockFi. This is the company that I think will be huge for whatever spec does end up acquiring them. So now GSAH is looking like the front runner to acquire BlockFi and take them public. And if so, I could easily see the stock getting 20, $25 plus if the BlockFi scenario does play out. It is still very speculative because we do not know yet what the target is. So that's the risk right there. But I do think the risk reward is great and having that floor of $10 worst case scenario like these other specs. So next up, one more sector that I think has one of the best values in the entire market right now. This is the online gambling and sports betting sector, an industry that is growing like crazy right now. And companies such as Golden Nugget Gaming, ticker symbol GNOG, and Rush Street Interactive, ticker symbol RSI. These have huge growth. The stocks are very, very beat down. And if they can get any traction, a potential catalyst leading in is the sports betting numbers at the Super Bowl. Those are always very, very impressive. Could get some traction behind these companies' names. And when the traction does come and when hype does come towards, come back towards these online gambling companies, they have a ton of potential at current valuation with the growth these companies have and the low multiples that these valuations are trading at. The upside is through the roof and the downside is limited because of that fundamental upside and growth opportunity. 
Now, a couple more of these companies who are more focused on the sports betting area have gotten a lot of traction so far compared to these online gambling companies, but there is a ton more growth to come in my opinion. First up, DraftKings, sticker symbol DKNG, Fubo TV, this is the streaming service along with sports betting, absolutely huge growth and very, very heavily shorted. I see the stock still running heavy in the short term. I think we see $60 plus very, very soon once again. And Penn Gaming, which also goes along with all those Barstool sports betting apps. I see huge growth potential for those as well, even though they are more fairly valued than these online gambling companies. So overall, those are just a couple more sectors and stocks to get to keep an eye on, give you some ideas for your next investment ideas. As no hot sectors will last forever, all these heavily shorted stocks, all of these meme stocks, they're not gonna keep going up forever. They are gonna come down. And when they do come down, the money in those stocks are going to flood elsewhere within different sectors. The thing to do is not chase the current hot sector. The thing is, is to find the next hot sector, front run that sector, and then you can ride the full wave up instead of buying in at the top and getting screwed when the sector does start pulling down, which is bound to happen at some point. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're interested in joining the private Discord chat, the link is down below. If you wanna get $33 in M1 Finance, for free stocks by joining Webull, those links are down below as well. They are affiliate links, and I would appreciate that. It does help support the channel. Subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. It is greatly appreciated, and let's get rich.